Grace Christo is a junior volleyball player for Eau Claire Regis. Nearly 10 years ago, she was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that resulted in complete hair loss. WEAU's Neil A. Bear is here with the story. Neil. Danielle, when she was in second grade, Grace was diagnosed with alopecia areata, a condition with nearly 200,000 new cases each year in the United States. Throughout her elementary, middle, and first two years of high school, Grace wore a wig to cover her head. That spanned almost a decade, but now she's taking the condition head on. In second grade, alopecia areata started its course. I more just didn't want people to know or notice. For nearly a decade now, Regis Jr. Grace Christo has worn a wig at all times, at school, in public, and on the court because of her hair loss. But nine years after she was diagnosed, she had a change of heart. The first day of this summer, I let go of it. Grace ditched the wig for good. One night I was just sitting in bed and I texted my mom. I said, hey, like, guess what? And she's like, what? And I just said that I was done with it. And I know that's what she's always wanted for me. And I know that's what the people close to me have always wanted. But I was always so against it. Even going without it in front of my close friends, I wouldn't do. Grace may not have hair, but she's no different than your typical junior in high school. We're so proud of her because obviously that would take a lot of guts for her because people still look at her and people still don't really understand it. Everybody knows you for you. It's, it's you. You can't change it. And you're beautiful just the way you are. She, she wasn't actually sure if we knew about it. It's like, yeah, we know about it. It's cool. We support you. And honestly, the next day when she had it off, nobody thought anything different. It's just amazing. Like, she just fit in. Like, it's just our girl playing volleyball the other day. Alopecia areata is just a disease that takes away one's hair. And those looking from the outside in have nothing to worry about. If we all know that this is a simple condition where you just lose hair, it's not contagious, that creates a much less traumatic situation for the individual. What we need to do is understand the disease more and go along with it. If you see her on the court, going out of your way to say something negative won't affect her play. When it happens when I'm playing volleyball on the court and someone from the other student section says something, I have to like really try to like pull it together. But at this point, and like the confidence that I have now with it, I just let it go. Grace's support system throughout the years has helped her get to where she is now, carefree and confident. At this point, I don't even care. I'm not glad that I have it, but I'm glad that I have it rather than someone that really couldn't deal with it. Because at this point, I can deal with it. At this point, I have the confidence that I don't know if everyone could have. So I think that I maybe have it for a reason and to maybe inspire others to be themselves. For others who have alopecia areata, Grace has a simple message. If you don't have hair, that's okay. It's something on top of your head and that you will eventually get to the point where you're comfortable with yourself, but do it at your own pace. Don't do it at the pace of your parents or your friends. If they're telling you that you should be okay with yourself, don't listen to them unless you truly feel it. So wait until you truly feel comfortable with yourself and then be who you are. And don't force it upon yourself to, you know, go without a wig or go without a scarf. Do it when you want to. And a twist in the story, a couple days after talking with Grace, she tore her ACL and meniscus in her knee. But looking at the way she's handled having alopecia, we're positive she'll attack her rehab the same way.